Today we will demonstrate the functions of Sangfer Cyber Command, our intelligence response platform designed to detect malicious traffic, attacks, incidents, vulnerabilities, and weaknesses within the system. Let's take a look at this high-level network topology. On the left, we can see that our attacker machine is a Kali Linux. The IP address is 10.10.30.100. It's located in our user section, VLAN. On the right is a Windows Server 2012 with an IP address of 10.10.20.100 located in our server farm. Both machines are on different VLANs under Sangfer's internal demo network. Today we will launch a brute force attack and port scanning as our security incidents. We hope to show how a vulnerability exploitation and suspicious activity within our network is handled by Cyber Command, which should detect east-west traffic and lateral movement of the malicious files. First, let's look at our attacking machine. With a script prepared for port scanning, which uses an Nmap tool, in addition to an FTP brute force script to perform the brute force attack. Let's start the attack. The time is 5.06 p.m. If we open Cyber Command, you can see the attacker machine with an IP address of 10.10.30.100. Today, we will focus on port scanning and FTP brute force attacks. If we look at the last detected time under port scanning, we see that the time is 4.37 p.m. and the FTP brute force last detected was at 4.41 p.m. Remember, we launched the attack at 5.06 p.m. After a few minutes, you can see the attacker machine port scanning was last detected at 5.06 p.m and the FTP brute force shows last detected at 5.10 p.m. We can see that the FTP brute force attack takes some time. If we look at the victim machine, 10.10.20.100, we can see the FTP brute force attack last detected time was also 5.10 p.m. As you can see, Cyber Command is capable of detecting lateral attacks, port scanning attacks, and suspicious activity in moments even if it's not a security incident yet, but Cyber Command still detects it quickly. The next phase is threat hunting. After we detect something in the network, we must drill down and analyze the behavior of the security incident. First of all, let's explore the victim machine 10.10.20.100. You can see here the program is very user-friendly and helps the user to visualize everything. Here you can see there's an arrow pointing to the destination or the source IP of our attacking machine, 10.10.30.100. Here you can see our victim's IP address, 10.10.20.100. You can see the attack type includes scan vulnerabilities and exploitation, port scanning, and brute force attack. Here you can see the date and time of the incident. Here you can see the description, scan vulnerabilities, and Nmap scanner attack. This is the exploitation tool launched by the Kali Linux. Even though this isn't a security incident yet, there's no reason for an internal host or server to perform this type of action making its actions important to detect quickly. Let's drill down and explore the brute force attack activity. We can see the attack type is brute force attack, and you can see the time of the attack and source or destination IP. Here's a clue. This machine has suffered 75 brute force attacks per minute. This is the FTP brute force exploitation. We can see that Cyber Command helps simplify threat hunting with visualized tools that allow you to drill down and explore the details of attacks. Let's go to the correlated response, a highlight of the Sangfer Cyber Command solution. Here's the victim's machine. 
We want to take action to isolate this kind of connection from the attacker. We select correlated response. To perform this type of response, you need to install Sangfort Endpoint Secure Agent on your endpoint or servers to get a correlated response with Cyber Command. As you can see, we're still able to ping from the Kali Linux to the victim's Windows Server 2012. We see the correlated response here. We have a few options. We will select correlated blocking, which blocks all outbound access from the host, totally isolating the victim from the attacker. Now we will perform further investigation. Here we will perform a test. Choose Sangford Endpoint Secure IP 10.10.20.200 and press Start. We've totally isolated the endpoint by cutting off inbound and outbound connection. You can see the lockup here is one day. This is one way of manually correlating. Here we can see the pinging process is paused. The Kali Linux is no longer able to reach the Windows server. Let's explore the Cyber Command response policy. You can define your own response policies with Cyber Command. Choose your desired event type. Here we're focusing on brute force attack, which means if there are any brute force attacks detected in Cyber Command, you can instruct your other appliances like NGAF and Endpoint Secure to respond accordingly. Here we click Next to get a correlated block to achieve total isolation from the attacker. When Cyber Command detects an attack, I choose the device I want to correlate with. Here it's Endpoint Secure, and the direction is All, which includes inbound and outbound traffic. Here you can see the status is enabled, and the hit is 2. Let's begin the attack. You can see the attacker is still able to ping. The attack has been launched. The attack sequence has been paused. It is verified unpingable, and the connection has been totally cut off. We can see within this policy the number of hits is 3, and the number of isolated files is 1. This is the IP of the victim, isolated by Cyber Command, while the brute force attack is addressed. Finally, let's explore Cyber Command detection. First, we will decompress the ransomware file White Rose. Here we have the Endpoint Secure agent enabled. We expect to see Endpoint Secure scan for viruses, isolate them, and repair them. We will use Endpoint Secure to scan the folders containing ransomware files. Once the scan is complete, you can see that Endpoint Secure has detected the viruses. Here you can see the security incidents. Select any security incident and choose Fix. After the command to fix is issued, you can see that the viruses have been automatically resolved. Thank you for joining us today. To see a bit more about how Cyber Command Correlated Response can protect your network from malicious threat. For more information about Sangfer and their wide range of correlated security solutions, visit us online or email us directly. And let Sangfer make your IT simpler, more secure, and valuable.